outcome is uncertain. All right, buckle up, because 2024 and 2025 are about to hit us with many movies. We've got Maxine Mia Goth returning for the final chapter of Bad Boys 4 Ride or Die, and you know we're in for some mutant action with those red and yellow folks. But hold on to your popcorn, because there's a whole lineup of exciting flicks coming our way that you might not even know about yet. Let's dive into the best upcoming movies of 2024 and 2025. Despicable Me 4, July 3, 2024 Despicable Me 4 is set to hit theaters in July 2024 with Steve Carell, Kristen Wiig, Pierre Coffey, Miranda Cosgrove and Steve Coogan all returning for the latest installment. Chris Renault, who directed the first two movies, is back at the helm for this fourth film. While the plot details are still under wraps, it's clear that the franchise has evolved into a spy spoof similar to Get Smart, with Gru now part of the Anti-Villain League. With Despicable Me 4's release approaching, the franchise is taking a page out of Pixar's playbook, aiming for box office success with an original narrative. The trailer teases an intriguing plotline involving Gru's struggles with his newest family member, who bears a striking resemblance to Jack-Jack from The Incredibles 2. This baby's presence promises both humor and heart, reminiscent of Jack-Jack's role in the Pixar sequel. However, while drawing inspiration from The Incredible 2's success is a smart move, Despicable Me 4 must avoid replicating the misstep of portraying its protagonist in a negative light, as The Incredibles 2 did with Bob. Instead, the film should highlight Gru's journey as a father, even if his efforts are initially met with resistance from his child. By maintaining Gru's relatability and emphasizing his growth as a parent, Despicable Me 4 can pave the way for another hit installment in the beloved franchise. Maxine, your agent tells us you're quite a popular name. Maxine, July 5, 2024. In Maxine, Mia Goth returns for the final installment of T West's X Trilogy. The film follows adult film star Maxine Minx as she pursues her Hollywood dreams while facing the threat of a mysterious killer. Drawing inspiration from real life events, Maxine weaves a narrative where Maxine's dark past intersects with the dangers of fame. As the trailer teases, Maxine's journey may lead her down a path of becoming the film's version of the infamous Night Stalker, reshaping her identity in the process. Come on, Mike, slow down. We are late. My stomach, Mike. I need a ginger. Bad Boys 4, June 7, 2024. Bad Boys 4 is like a fresh start for everyone involved. For Will Smith, it's a return to blockbuster glory after that Oscars incident back in 2022. And for directors Adil El Arbi and Bilal Fala, it's a chance to move on from the disappointment of their shelved project, Batgirl. This time, they're diving into the world of Miami cops and best buds, Mike and Marcus, once again played by Smith and Martin Lawrence. It's a follow-up to Bad Boys for Life, which was a massive hit in 2020, arriving almost three decades after the original Bad Boys, directed by Michael Bay. In the upcoming sequel, Bad Boys Ride or Die, we see Mike and Marcus getting tangled up in a serious criminal plot while trying to honor their late Captain Howard. The cast includes familiar faces like Vanessa Hudgens, Paula Nunez, and Alexander Ludwig, along with Jacob Scipio, who returns as Mike's son Armando, introduced in Bad Boys for Life. In a recent interview, Smith spilled some details about Armando's role in the new movie. As it turns out, his knowledge of the cartels will be pretty handy as they team up to clear Mike's name. But it's not just about solving crimes, there's a deeper bond forming between father and son. According to Smith, Armando's character is pivotal in saving the bad boy's legacy, and it's going to be a game changer for him. The revelation that Armando is Mike's son adds a whole new layer to the story. It's a twist that could lead to some serious character development for Mike, who's always been a bit of a risk taker. With family in the picture now, he might have to dial back the daredevil antics a bit. After all, he's got someone to look out for. So, how was the first day of school? It was fine, I guess. Inside Out 2, June 14th, 2024. Inside Out 2 is finally hitting the screens, and it's bringing some new focus into Riley's emotional landscape. Joining joy, sadness, anger, fear, and disgust is Maya Hawke's anxiety as Riley navigates the complexities of teenage life. While Amy Poehler, Phyllis Smith, and Louis Black return to voice joy, sadness, and anger, Tony Hale and Lisa Lapira step in for fear and disgust, respectively. 
The addition of these new emotions is a reflection of Riley's journey into adolescence, where she faces more intricate situations and learns to cope with changes. Each new emotion's design mirrors its role in her evolving emotional state, seamlessly integrating into the story. This not only enhances their impact on Riley's psyche, but also underscores the natural progression of her emotional development. With Riley's storyline centered on puberty and growth, capturing the essence of her new emotions was crucial. From anxiety to embarrassment, each newcomer embodies the challenges Riley faces as she matures. As the sequel promises more adventure and exploration of emotional growth, audiences can expect a nuanced and stylized approach to this next chapter of Riley's journey. I've been thinking. The Bike Riders, June 21st, 2024. Set in the 1960s, this film delves into the origins and transformation of the Vandals MC, a fictional outlaw motorcycle club based in Chicago. Through the lens of its members and their families, the story unfolds over a decade, depicting the club's evolution from a tight-knit community for local misfits to a ruthless criminal organization. Inspired by Danny Lyon's photography book, director Jeff Nichols brings to life the gritty world of the Vandals, capturing their journey from camaraderie to corruption. Leading the cast are Austin Butler and Jody Comer, portraying a married couple deeply entrenched in the Vandals' world, while Tom Hardy takes on the role of the club's volatile leader. As the club spirals into darker territory, their founder's original vision is put at risk, challenging the very essence of the club's existence. Wolverine let down his entire world. Deadpool and Wolverine, July 26, 2024. There's been a lot of buzz surrounding Wolverine's backstory in Deadpool and Wolverine, and Marvel might be weaving a controversial thread from the Fox X-Men films into his narrative. While Hugh Jackman is returning as Wolverine for the MCU film, there's speculation that this version of Logan could be from a different universe, explaining why he's seen wearing yellow spandex for the first time. One intriguing moment from the second trailer has fans speculating about its significance. Matthew McFadden's Paradox, a TVA employee, mentions that this Wolverine let his universe down. While the full meaning remains unclear, it hints at a down-on-his-luck Wolverine who made a crucial mistake leading to many deaths. A prevalent theory suggests this mistake could be linked to a controversial moment from the Fox X-Men universe, potentially offering redemption for a widely criticized storyline. In X-Men The Last Stand, Jean Grey's botched Phoenix storyline culminated in her death at the hands of Wolverine, a moment still controversial among fans. The rushed treatment of the Phoenix narrative left much to be desired, and killing off Jean felt like a lazy resolution to the storyline. Audiences reacted negatively, prompting Fox to retcon the events later. The theory posits that Deadpool and Wolverine's Wolverine comes from an alternate world where he couldn't bring himself to kill Jean Grey, leading to catastrophic consequences as her phoenix powers spiraled out of control. Left with the knowledge of his failure, Wolverine grapples with the aftermath, offering a unique twist on the character's arc. While revisiting Jean Grey's death may surprise audiences, it could serve as a way to address a lackluster moment in the Marvel Universe while tying Deadpool 3's Wolverine to the Fox Universe through a variant of the character. When it comes to cameos, the sky's the limit. While only a few have been confirmed, director Sean Levy and others involved have teased plenty. With the multiverse at play, we could see some familiar faces popping up unexpectedly. A Quiet Place Day 1 June 28, 2024. A Quiet Place Day One takes audiences back to the beginning, exploring the origins of the post-apocalyptic world where silence is survival. Lupita Nyong'o stars as Sam, navigating the chaos of the alien invasion in New York City. The film unfolds during the initial wave of the invasion, offering a glimpse into the events that led to the harrowing circumstances depicted in A Quiet Place. The trailer showcases the epic scope of the prequel, emphasizing the franchise's focus on characters with disabilities. Where's Mr. Tagley? Craven the Hunter, August 30th, 2024. Craven the Hunter promises to take audiences on a gritty journey into the backstory of one of Marvel's most iconic villains, all before his infamous encounters with Spider-Man. 
Aaron Taylor Johnson steps into the shoes of the titular character in this R-rated film, offering a deep dive into Craven's origins and motivations like never before. Joined by a stellar cast including Christopher Abbott, Fred Heshinger, Russell Crowe, Ariana DeBose, Alessandro Nivola, and Levi Miller, Craven the Hunter is under the direction of J.C. Chandor. With such talent on board, the film is positioned to deliver a visceral and enthralling narrative that builds upon the universe established by previous Sony Marvel projects like Venom and Morbius. As the first R-rated entry in Sony's Spider-Man universe, fans can anticipate Craven the Hunter to push boundaries with its portrayal of intense and realistic violence. While speculation abounds regarding a possible appearance from the MCU's Spider-Man, Peter Parker, no confirmations have been made by either Sony or Marvel Studios. All I ever wanted in this world is carnage. Venom The Last Dance, October 25th, 2024 Venom The Last Dance marks the eagerly awaited return of Eddie Brock and the Venom symbiote for their final adventure on the big screen. Tom Hardy reprises his iconic role alongside Juno Temple and Shuitel Ejiofor, with Kelly Mars taking the directorial reins. Following their previous triumphs over Riot and Carnage, Eddie and Venom are gearing up for the next thrilling escapade. Originally set for release on July 12, 2024, and later rescheduled to November 8, the film has now locked in its definitive release date. After a brief stint in the MCU courtesy of Doctor Strange's spell, Venom's comeback raises intriguing questions about the challenges awaiting them. Will they face off against a new adversary, or could they join forces with other characters from Sony's Spider-Man universe like Morbius or Kraven the Hunter? And most tantalizingly, could Spider-Man finally make a long-awaited appearance after Venom caught a glimpse of him on TV in another universe? With the stage set for another action-packed installment, Venom The Last Dance promises to deliver the same electrifying, symbiote-fueled excitement that fans have come to know and love. Sonic the Hedgehog Sonic the Hedgehog 3, December 20th, 2024 Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is officially in the works, and there's some seriously cool stuff happening with the Blue Blur's next big adventure. So you know that classic villain we've all been speculating about? The latest scoop confirms that none other than Keanu Reeves has been snagged to play Shadow in Sonic 3. How awesome is that? Now let's talk cast. While there's still a lot we don't know, you can bet that many of the familiar faces from the first two movies will be back. Ben Schwartz is returning to voice Sonic himself, and we'll also see Colleen O'Shaughnessy as Tails and Idris Elba as Knuckles. Oh, and get this, despite his big retirement hoopla, Jim Carrey is officially back in action as Dr. Robotnik. But wait, there's more. Sonic 3 is bringing in some fresh talent too. Kristen Ritter and Cristo Fernandez are joining the crew, along with James Wolk, Aliyah Brown, Jorma Tacone, and Sofia Pernas. Brown is playing Dr. Robotnik's cousin, Maria, while the long-awaited Shadow has finally been cast, with Keanu Reeves taking on the role. Can you believe it? That said, Sonic 2 teased us with Super Sonic and left us hanging with Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles teaming up. Well, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 promises to take us on a wild ride with all three of them from the get-go. Plus, that epic mid credit scene introduced Shadow, setting him up to be the big baddie this time around. And who knows, we might even see some other game favorites, like Rogue the Bat join the fray. Till now. Is that where you're from? Oh. Paddington in Peru, January 17, 2025. Paddington in Peru is set to continue the heartwarming adventures of everyone's favorite British bear, Paddington. Voiced by Ben Wishaw, Paddington embarks on a journey to South America with his family, encountering unexpected challenges in the rainforest. While the film marks a departure from the direction of the previous installments, with Paul King not directing this time, the involvement of King and Simon Farnaby in developing the story ensures a touch of familiarity. Alongside Wishaw, the cast includes returning favorites such as Hugh Bonneville and Julie Walters, as well as newcomers like Olivia Colman and Antonio Banderas. Paddington in Peru promises to deliver another delightful chapter in the beloved franchise when it hits theaters on January 17, 2025. Wolfman, January 17, 2025 A modern take on the classic Universal monster tale. Directed by Lee Wan-El, known for his work on The Invisible Man, 
the film stars Christopher Abbott as a man whose family faces terror from a lethal predator. Joined by Julia Garner and others, Abbott's character grapples with the haunting presence while navigating through the narrative. Originally slated for October 2024, the release has been pushed to January 17, 2025, building anticipation for another spine-chilling experience. Mickey 17, January 31, 2025 Adapted from Edward Ashton's novel Mickey 17 delves into the science fiction genre, portraying the journey of Mickey 17, portrayed by Robert Pattinson to the icy world of Niflhelm for colonization. In this narrative, Mickey 17 serves as an expendable employee assigned perilous tasks that often lead to their demise. However, upon each death, Mickey is reborn in a new body, retaining a significant portion of his memories. As Mickey undergoes multiple rebirths, he gradually comprehends the nature of his job and the reasons behind its perpetual vacancy. Directed by Bong Joon-ho, Mickey 17 ventures into the frigid landscape of an ice planet, weaving a tale that delves into themes of identity and survival amidst challenging circumstances. With Robert Pattinson in the lead role, supported by a stellar ensemble cast including Steven Yeun and Tony Collette, the film promises to enthrall audiences with its innovative storytelling. Originally slated for release in March 2024, the film's premiere was postponed to January 31, 2025 to ensure the full realization of Bong's cinematic vision. He sacrificed himself for a better future. I have to carry on on my own. Captain America Brave New World, February 14, 2025 Captain America Brave New World heralds a new era for the MCU as Sam Wilson takes on the mantle of Captain America. Directed by Julius Ona and co-written by Malcolm Spellman, the film delves into themes of identity and heroism as Wilson grapples with his new role. With a star-studded cast, including Tim Blake Nelson and Liv Tyler, the movie promises to deliver thrilling action and heartfelt moments. Scheduled for release on February 14, 2025, Captain America Brave New World is poised to make a significant impact on the superhero genre. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.